what is today the Nandi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja, the Nigerian capital, was constructed in 1982 on the orders of then President Shehu Shagari during the Second Republic. President Shagari became known for often flying into the quietness of Abuja from Lagos, which was still the seat of government. He became an almost regular visitor to Abuja, where he also had an office in the now famous Aguda House in the then partly completed presidential villa that is today the official residence of the country's vice president. Reports say President Shagari, on a number of occasions, held the Federal Executive Council meeting of his administration with his cabinet ministers in his Abuja office. There are, however, hardly reports to indicate that President Shagari's successor, that is Major General Muhammad Buhari, who led the military coup of December 31, 1983, to bring the Second Republic to an end, visited or spent so much time in Abuja as the country's leader in his 31-month rule. In fact, Reliable facts and records show that uh, President Shagari was in the presidential villa in Abuja when the military coup that overthrew his government took place before he fled to a farm belonging to Group Captain Usman Jibril in what is today neighboring Nasarawa State on his way to Cameroon. Many are conversant with how the Dodan Barracks, Ikoi, in Lagos State, southwest Nigeria, was elevated to a seat of power where the country was ruled under the military, even though there was the Waterside State House in Marina, which was officially the seat of government right from the colonial era leading up to the country's independence. Today, the old State House in Marina is the property of the Lagos State Government, having been handed over by the federal government in 2016 to be part of the proposed transformation of Marina Onikon into an art and tourism hub by the Governor Akin Wumi Ambode administration. It is very clear that Abuja as the nation's capital and all that is associated with it only became busy from December 12, 1991, when then military president General Ibrahim Babangida formally relocated the seat of power, not only from Dodan Barracks, but from Lagos to Abuja which had been earlier declared the country's new federal capital territory for about 15 years as at that time. It is time for Straight Talk, and I am TV Tiab. Welcome. Abuja is only by the sixth capital of the country, but its significance also lies in the fact that it is the first capital city of Nigeria chosen by Nigerians. The first five capital cities before it were choices made by the British colonial authorities to satisfy their own conveniences at each material time. We are talking about 1900 when Lokoja, the Confluence uh, city in present-day Kogi state in north central Nigeria was the country's capital, which was four years later in 1904 moved to Zungeru in present-day Niger state also in North Central Nigeria. The capital was taken in 1914 to Calabar, the capital of present-day Cross River State in South South Nigeria, and moved in 1916 to the ancient city of Kaduna in Northwest Nigeria. And then in 1954 to the commercial city of Lagos, the center of excellence in Southwest Nigeria. The capital city of any country is usually one of its major gateways to the rest of the world. This explains why the cities of Lokoja and Zungeru enjoyed major rail and water transfer services as at the time they served as the country's capital. And as an addition for Kaduna and Lagos, they also enjoyed airport transfer services as capital cities in their time besides the regular but major road transport facilities. For Abuja, that is landlocked, air transport services provided at the Abuja International Airport, named after the country's first president, Nandi Azikiwe, who died in 1996, remain its major and only direct link to the rest of the world, besides the rail services that were inaugurated not too long ago. 
in a move described as unprecedented in aviation history around the world, the Nigerian government on December 10, 2016, formally announced the closure of the Nandi Azikiwe International Airport Abuja to aircraft operations for a period of six weeks between March 8 and April 19, 2017. The two ministers in charge of transport and aviation had to appear before the Nigerian Senate to explain the very unpopular decision. I'm a minister and I say it's not possible that any minister in government can disagree with the government. And he has the expertise as the Minister of State for Aviation to deal with the issues that are technical. I probably would begin by making a statement of fact. And that is a fact that Abuja runway, which is now the subject matter, has been designed and built to last for a period of not exceeding 20 years. And that the anticipation at the time is that there would be 100,000 passengers per annum on that runway. Your Excellency, this runway has exceeded that lifespan by some 14 odd years. And because it is being maintained also regularly by the agency that is responsible for it, which is the FAN, Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, over time, through cyclic fatigue and stress that is induced on that only runway that we have here in Abuja, some of the portions of this runway have failed, and they failed completely. The Abuja airport facility was constructed in 1982, but the records of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria fans say it was built in the early 2000s and officially opened in 2002. This would make it officially a 15-year-old facility and not 35 years old, as the authorities want everybody to now believe. Interestingly, 2002 was exactly 20 years after construction of the 3.6-kilometer runway of the airport, which aviation authorities say was the lifespan of the facility. However, instead of celebrating the construction of a new runway, the priority of the authorities at that time was uh, the commissioning of the new domestic and international terminal building when Kema Chikwe was the Minister of Aviation. The Nandi Azikiwe International Airport Abuja is today said to be the second busiest in the country after the Mutala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos, southwest Nigeria. Statistics show that about 3 million passengers now travel through the facility every year. But this is recent history because for close to 10 years, between 1982 when the airport facility and its runway were constructed and 1991 when the seat of power was moved to Abuja and traffic in and out of the airport started to increase considerably. The airport and its facilities were largely underutilized. It is also a fact that between 1992 and 2002, which is a period of another 10 years, traffic at the Abuja airport and its runway was not as high as what is the experience between 2002 and now. Many airlines have decided to close shop, stop coming to Abuja, and the simple reason is that they got the airplanes damaged by this particular runway. So to continue to operate into this airport on this runway, having almost nearly daily instances at some point, recording about 17 of them, is totally unsafe. As a matter of fact, in all length and breadth of the runway, have totally collapsed. And this collapse, it is not the surface. It's not the asphalt surface. It is the entire architecture of that runway from bottom up in all of the four layers. It is not just the surface or resurfacing of the runway. It is the entire architecture that we are going to build back up again and we'll be doing it in bits and pieces while the runway is still being used. But we'll get to a point at the midsection of the runway that we'll have to stop and use six weeks uh, to be able to treat that portion. 
Is it that the entire runway collapsed or some sections? And if it is some sections, have you done an integrity survey of the entire runway? And if you did, is it possible to make available a copy to the Senate? So, Are you also aware that up to four major repairs has been carried out on this runway since inception? One, which was done when me and you were in the Committee of Aviation. And during that time, the Supervising Minister of Aviation, who is now the Governor of Benue State, proposed also to close down the airport. Recall that we invited him, had an interaction with him, and the runway was repaired and the airport was not closed. Is it not enough to consider the second runway within this one year, not just six months you have been besieged? We have enough time to build the second runway. We have the resources from all we have enumerated. Mr. Minister, when you were a, minister, uh, a senator, you said you considered as a, as a senator you second runway. This is the time you have to actualize it, the second runway now that you're a minister of aviation. Unless you want to convince us that you prefer the Kaduna as an international airport again at the expense of second runway for the Abuja airport. The much talked about construction work on the runway did not, however, begin immediately the airport was closed down on March 8, 2017. And when the contractor, Julius Baja Nigeria PLC, eventually moved to site after about 48 hours after the closure. What the Minister of State for Aviation, Hadi Sirika, said would be the scope and quality of work during his desperate bid at different fora to convince stakeholders and secure their support ahead of the shutdown of the airport, which was largely opposed by many, except, of course, the Ministry of Transport and the contractor, is at variance with the work on the ground. We have maintained runways and closed airports at night. It's not new. But if you are surfacing the runway, if you are surfacing the entire runway or portion of it, at the top layer, it's possible. If you are digging up the entire architecture and building up a new runway like we're going to do, it's tough, difficult, time taking, and also it affects the riding quality of the runway as you go. And Your Excellency, we have a huge res responsibility to do what is correct and what is best. You have seen the award of the Abuja International Airport for the third runway. It has always been, they have not been able to create time. The requirement of timing and everything is always the big problem for, for concrete road and also cost. There are others from scientific and engineering gestation requirement that we are a concrete pavement can be completed and within one 10 minutes you can start to use but in consulting a, a concrete road you may need to set up do you do everything get the form work in place after concreting you wait for uh, some other days for a number of days This is the 3.6-kilometer uh, runway of the Nandi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. There is no form of reconstruction work here on the 55-meter-wide runway. The 5.8 billion naira project, which led to the shutdown of the airport, is clearly a repair and resurfacing work on portions of the runway, as can be seen in this video. In fact, only portions of the middle core of the runway, which cover 40 meters out of the 55 meter facility, are worked on with the shoulders covering 7.5 meters on each side of the runway, seemingly not touched. The 
the 5.8 billion Naira 2017 project is the fifth major repair work to be undertaken on the runway 0422 of the Nandi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, since its construction in 1982. The last repair work was undertaken in 2014 between July 5 and 7, when the airport was also shut down for 60 hours to fix some ruptured parts of the runway. The 60-hour closure at the time led to the loss of about 500 million naira in revenue. The same airport had also been shut down for 17 hours in the previous year, on July 3, when an aircraft belonging to the Saudi Air ran into runway repair machines. The revenue lost at that time was put at 140 million naira, with 78 domestic flights reportedly diverted or outrightly cancelled by the airline operators. The cost of the unprecedented 42-day closure in 2017 is clearly enormous. The attendant cost to government, the airlines, passengers, and other business operators with the diversion of flights to neighboring Kaduna State in northwest Nigeria is conservatively put at 1 billion naira. But it is obvious that the cost can hardly be properly calculated. Fair enough, the closure of the Inandi Azikiwele International Airport Abuja has led to the completion of the terminal building of the Kaduna Airport, which was abandoned for five years. It is also a plus that the facility in Kaduna has also now been upgraded to an international airport, perhaps bringing the number of such facilities in the country to six. This new status of the Kaduna Airport had cost the country 1.1 billion naira to achieve. There was also the emergency 50-day repair work on the deplorable 165-kilometer dual carriage Abuja Kaduna Highway, which also got another 1.1 billion naira. All this work, however, attracted only one foreign airline to the Kaduna International Airport, with most of the airliners declining to undertake operations at the new facility in view of the attendant challenges and costs. Going to Kaduna and coming to Abuja is going to be very painful and laborious, quite all right. But when you look at the greater picture, we are talking of public safety, we are talking of international rep reputation within the av aviation industry. So I think government is doing the right thing. The way I look at it, I foresee a situation where you don't have, you are not going to have much traffic into Kaduna because like uh, most of our lucrative routes, Bini, Asaba, Enugu, Wari, Port Harcourt, you have much passenger traveling to Kaduna to fly to those axes. And once you remove those axes from uh, domestic transport, they are going to be experiencing low turnout in Kaduna Airport. Mm. So that is what I foresaw. Then the second part is Kaduna. Is Kano. Most of our lucrative routes from, uh, for Asman in Abuja Airport is Kano route. So I don't foresee passenger traveling to Kaduna just to go and fly for 20, uh, 15 minutes out of Kaduna to Kano. So that one will be cut off too. The story of the routine closure of the Nandi Azikiwele International Airport Abuja over the years cannot be told without reference to the absence of a second runway for the facility. It is difficult to understand how an international airport and in a place like Abuja will not have a second runway. Sadly, of the five official international airports in Nigeria, namely the Mutala Mohammed International Airport Lagos, Nandi Azikiwe International Airport Abuja, Malam Aminu Kano International Airport Kano, Portacourt International Airport Portacourt, and the Akanu Ibam International Airport in Nugu. Only two have their second runways in place. These are the Mutala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, and the Malam Aminu Kano International Airport in Kano. For the Nandi Azikwele International Airport, Abuja, two attempts to get the second runway constructed failed following opposition from the National Assembly, all led by one man, the controversial Kogi State Bond lawmaker, Dino Melai. He was a member of the House of Representatives when in 2010, Dino Melai raised a motion on the floor to call for the cancellation 
of the 64 billion Naira second runway project, even though the figure was said to have later been revealed downward to 13.5 billion Naira. The directive to terminate the project, which was also awarded to Julius Baja Nigeria PLC on February 5, 2010, four days before then Vice President Goodluck Jonathan, by virtue of the doctrine of necessity, became the country's acting president, was reportedly issued by then Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Yayali Ahmed, in response to the motion by the House of Representatives when Olajimeji Bankuli was the House Speaker. It was the opinion of the House that the contract sum was outrageous with allegations of corruption trailing the controversial contract awarded when Babatunde Omotoba was the country's aviation minister under the administration of President Umaru Musa Yaradua. Mr. President, I will not belabor us with unnecessary commentaries because I want to believe that government exists to serve the people and not the people in government. Dino Melai was not done yet with the second runway project for the Nandi Azikwele International Airport Abuja. As a senator, he also led the Nigerian Senate in a motion on October 28, 2015, to address a newspaper report which said contracts for the second runway was already undergoing review to be awarded as a fresh contract at a revealed sum of 64.5 billion naira, which was to be 500 million naira higher than the reported scam in 2010. This was under the administration of President Muhammad Buhari, but shortly before the appointment of ministers into the Federal Executive Council. Senator Dino Malay drew attention to the construction of runways in airports across the country to include uh, the 3.6 kilometer runway constructed in Gombe State at 8.2 billion naira, Jigawa State 11 billion naira, Bauchi State, 12 billion naira, and Akwaibom State, 18.05 billion naira. There is also the reconstructed and expanded runway in Enugu, undertaken by the same federal government at the cost of 13 billion naira, way after the reported scandal associated with Abuja Airport. It is clear that civil servants in the aviation sector are the ones promoting the construction of the second runway in Abuja at the overinflated sum of 64.5 billion naira, which is almost three times the cost of the four-lane, four-kilometer runway of the Heathrow Airport in London, constructed at a sum equivalent to 25 billion naira. From our own investigation all around the world, most airports are now closed for maintenance of runway from the busiest airports in Europe, even to those ne next door to us here in Ghana, etc. I think you've told us that the repairs of the runway is 5.8 billion. Will I be right to say that this other cost is going to be close to 5.5 billion or 4 billion? We still believe that it is prudent for us for that six weeks to spend almost the same cost of the rehabilitation in just carrying out this exercise. There would be a second runway in Abuja Hopefully within the next uh, 24 months, we will have a new runway, my hope. The process of building the runway, we should be able to achieve it within 24 months. Okay, that is one. If we put it in the budget and we are to build it, we will build, we'll try to build it within 24 months, the runway. Second runway. It's not going to be available. If, if we begin the, 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 the procurement today, then within 24 months we should have a new runway. But if we, the budget is delayed until June, July, and we begin there, then 24 months. The single runway will serve for only the next 10 years. This means that by 2027, the country will return to where it is today if the second runway for the Abuja airport is not constructed. Indeed, with the construction of a standard runway set to take as long as 24 months to be constructed, Nigeria has only until 2025 to do the needful. And that straight talk 
we must acknowledge our partners Media Dimensions for their support. I am TV. Thanks a lot for watching and goodbye from Abuja. <laughs>